Local animal shelter is struggling to keep its animals alive. Inland Passes, two out of every three cats that go in and one out of every four dogs don't make it out. KXAN's Tom Miller looks at a new partnership with Williamson County that could help save animals and get them into forever homes. When you look at the numbers, it's a little alarming how many cats and dogs are being euthanized. Why has there been such a problem? It, it was hard for every shelter throughout the state of Texas this year. We had a ton of owner surrenders and very few adoptions. A lot of it with the dogs is just housing. It's really, we're only a staff of three, so we don't have a whole lot of time to exercise the dogs and we have a very low volunteer number. The issue with cats is we have a very small holding area for cats. Um, and there's days we get seven to 10 cats a day coming in. You have this new partnership with Williamson County. Mm -hmm. How are you hoping that they can help your shelter? A lot of it is just the leadership, you know, helping us with ideas. They faced a lot of the problems that we face. So just having their guidance to help us. What can Williamson County do to help out Lampasas and, and where are you planning to start? It's asking what is already working and how can our knowledge help what isn't working? What are some of the best practices that you do in Williamson County that you'd like to implement? The biggest thing is community outreach. Obviously there's the uh, adoptions of finding animals, um, homes, but also fostering just taking an animal for a little while, um, donating to their local animal shelter so that they can make the life-saving choices that need to be made. Are you also feeling optimistic that you'll be able to save lives? I really am, I really am. Yes, definitely. We're really just hoping with this extra bit of help and uh, financial gain that um, can help us push, push those numbers to where they need to be. Casey and Misty, thank you both so much for your time.